Welcome to the Intro to Marketing pre-assessment task, frequently answered questions list. Well, actually answered once because you've given me a whole bunch of different questions and thank you everyone who was in Tuesday's tutorials who gave us this feedback. So let's kick this off with question on the format in terms of you're going to be facing down four questions, 500 words per each, thereabouts, go straight into the questions. Just question one, answer, question two, answer. You don't have to top and tail it. You don't have to turn it into a try and weave a narrative together as an essay. No. Uh, a couple of questions on the base details. I am a fan of the trebuchet font, um, most of the document, uh, but I'm also using Arial. So times trebuchet or Arial, size 12, two and a half points uh, margins, A4, unless you're coming in from somewhere else, in which case, yeah, fine. Um, US legal, if you really want, US letter, A3 is a bit of overkill. Referencing. I know there's a bit of stress coming up around this and we want to alleviate some of that stress. I like using the APA style. That is my personal preference. And that's the one that's because it's my preference, I will go and say, yeah, that, I find that to be the best fit to my needs and wants. If you have trained in a particular style because you're coming to me as a second or third year, and particularly if you're coming from an interdisciplinary background, use your home disciplines uh, preferred style. So in terms of what you can reference, Textbook, yes. Uh, you don't have to do it by page number unless you're doing a direct quote, and I don't think direct quotes are useful. Uh, I'm all about the indirect quote. Readings that are set inside the materials inside each week of the course, yes, those are fair game to be used, integrated, and applied. Additional material that you've looked up through Google Scholar or you've looked up through the library, absolutely. That is a sign to us that you have done external research. It's great. Take your shot. Do the reading around and bring it in, bring in the reference. Slides, no. The reason why I'm not getting, I'm not letting people cite the slides this round is that most of the material on the slides has been sourced from the textbook or it's been sourced from somewhere where I've gone and mentioned who the source is. In terms of citation, uh, general concepts versus specific concepts. I'm gonna say this one is within reason. Remember, you are four weeks into a marketing subject. The bulk of what you know about marketing, you've had to learn from somewhere recently. So think about it that way. Where do you know this from? Where is this influence on you? My view of referencing and citation is that it is about the acknowledgement of your influences. It's about being able to go, oh right, the Ansoff matrix is a named matrix. So it's Ansoff 1956. It was Professor Ansoff's matrix. Right, that's a named model that should get come with a citation. Uh, if I'm talking about creation, communication, delivery, and exchange, then I know I am reciting the American Marketing Association definition. If I am talking about value co-creation, I know I am citing Vargo and Lush 2004. It is about developing that skill. So the citation in this first paper, the reason why I want it to be here is I'm giving you an opportunity to showcase an ability so we can work with you to see where you're at now to where we can get you to by the end of semester. For trade press, for examples, if you are taking an example from a news clipping, then yeah, I want citations to that news clipping. If you're taking an example from an annual report or a corporate report or something like that, you know you're citing. It's a case of when you know that you are using the works of others that you acknowledge that influence. One of the questions are, is the textbook good enough? Is it a good starter? What we want to give you here is an opportunity. Really fast time frame, really short period of time, but it's an opportunity for you to build your confidence in being able to go, this is the question for which I have an answer, for which I can seek quickly to find a piece of information that I can use to support and strengthen my viewpoint. And if you've got a key term, like you've, you've read the textbook, you know that you're looking at a particular key term. And I keep saying, co-creation of value. Look it up. Go look around and say, oh, what else has been written about this? Who else has written about this? What's been written recently? Oh, that's interesting. I will use that. So that's why we've got your citation here, is to reward you for professional curiosity. Can I use ChatGPT? No. Look, angry autocorrect is not useful for the task. Your task isn't about the answers. Here's the hidden hook. In creating this assignment, I am interested in you, the student. You are my audience 
but also you're my provider. I want to know more about you, your skill set, your understanding of marketing, your approach to marketing, your mindset, your the way that you merge ideas and thoughts together. I want to learn about you through these 2,000 words, these four questions. This is my chance to meet you one-on-one -on -one in a space where I can go and say, this is what you do well. I can reward the effort, I can say, this is a really good part. This is a strength. Let's see what we can do to support you using the strength more often, more frequently. That's why I want you to write this essay. What the essay itself is an opportunity for you to showcase yourself. And if you bring in a, a third party contractor or angry autocorrect over there, you're taken away from yourself, but you're also taking yourself away from me. And I don't get to meet you. And I'm going to be disappointed because you seem an interesting person and I'd love to get to see your work. There are no perfect sentences already existing that answer this problem. I know that a lot of people get very worried about answering my questions because you're thinking, oh, who am I to paraphrase or who am I to summarize or who am I to take the work of this professor whose paper is in this journal and like they wrote a sentence, but that, that sentence there must be perfect. No, that sentence fits their paper. That sentence doesn't fit your paper. I want you to write your words. Use the ideas of others with acknowledgement, but write your words. So you will get a reasonably high Turnitin similarity index score this time because I am testing out a couple of things in Turnitin this season. What that means is that I am not interested in what the score is. I'm interested in why there's a score. Why is the text match happening? Now, sometimes that will be unavoidable. There are just no ways that you can say the seven parts of the services marketing mix. It's a 10 word phrase. There is no way you can write it with, which has not been written already. So it will automatically flag and that's not a problem. However, should you copy and paste someone else's words and I find it, I'm gonna have words with you because that's not you. Please don't thesaurus attack. It's cliche, it's tacky, and I recognize it. So for those of you unfamiliar with thesaurus attack, this is where you liberate a sentence from somewhere else, you paste it into your Word document, and then you go and change three or four words uh, via the thesaurus, thinking that you're, I don't know why you think it works, because it doesn't, uh, because it sticks out like a sore thumb. All right, word counts. Let's deal with this. 500 words, plus or minus 10%. If you're well under length, then chances are that there isn't an answer there for us to grade. Look, if you're 400 words, fine. 200 words, no, you stuffed it. You haven't delivered the depth. You haven't delivered the detail. If you've crossed the 600 word horizon, then you've got to come back and edit. We want around 500 words, 450 to 550, 400 if you're really desperate, 600 if you just can't shut up, like me. But if you go too far over, we're just gonna, we're gonna get bored and wander off, we're gonna stop marking. If you go too far under, you haven't given us enough to work with to give you a grade. Wonderful question came in, can you write in first person? Um, if you can, yes. If that's a strength, if you're good in first person, if you're good in second person, and you're good in third person, you go with what you're good at, and that is, part of the marketer's mindset. We're looking for what do you do well and how do we get that strength and build that strength. Uh, examples, personal examples, not only are they okay, they will be super useful in answering one of the questions. Looking for you to be able to both recognize marketing as it occurs to you, with you and by you, and marketing that you see in the wild. The question of the success metric, what can you do to do as well as you can? Use your strengths. References, we are gonna look fondly upon that. Breadth of references. The more you read around, the more you know about marketing, the more you know about marketing, the stronger your marketing technique is, the better chance you have of doing well because you're a stronger marketer and you're working to your strengths. And when we talk about the theory, when we talk about theory and practice, when we talk about marketing concepts and marketing ideas, it's like the definition of marketing is a theory. Co-creation of value is a theory. Consumer behavior, the consumption context, that cheese, that beautiful cheese wheel from Quester and Hall. The five stages of the decision-making process. Those are theories, those are concepts, those are marketing ideas. Price, product, promotion, place. The marketing, it's an idea, it's a theory, it's a framework. Using named methods of marketing, showing us that you have read, absorbed, learnt, and embraced what we, that is what we're looking for. Also, answer the question that we've asked you, not the question you wish we asked. Thank you. I've had some really good questions asked of my team. I've had some great emails sent to me. 
And part of it's required some real courage. And I appreciate that. I know that we are doing things differently here in 2004. And I know that's a challenge. So with a smile on your face and your notepads handy, a good supply of caffeine, enjoy the weekend challenge. And I'll see you next week.